You know, as I think about black mana magic, the magic of ambition, the magic of knowledge being power, the magic of getting ahead at any cost, or best of all, no cost. Well, I can't help but think of this video's sponsor, Audible. Start listening with a 30-day Audible trial, and you get to choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. Talk about knowledge equaling power. You can pour over the complete Audible library and have your pick at, well, this introductory lack of a price. Visit audible.com slash Talarian Community or text Talarian Community to 500-500. I wish to recommend The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, the story of two powerful mercurial magicians who make a bet, one whose true nature involves their magically talented children to engage in a lifelong battle of imagination and will. Perfect for the Black Mage at heart and my recommendation for this month, but of course you can use your free credit on any audiobook at Audible that you wish, and it's yours absolutely free. By by waving a few fingertips to cast the spell of directing your web browser to audible.com slash Talarian Community or texting Talarian Community to 500-500. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. So, here I will be discussing the top eight must-run cards in black for Commander. This isn't a list of cards that are the most powerful in black, nor is it specialty cards, but rather I am listing cards that, whether in mono-black or three-color, are the essential staples of black color Commander decks, in my evaluation, of course. This means, in many ways, we are taking more broad, appealing picks than simply, whoa, look at this overwhelmingly overpowerful corner case card in black. So while cards such as Zulaport Cutthroat, Blood Artist, and Viscera Seer are classic black aristocrat staples and absolute must-runs in any sort of aristocrat's deck, in fact, I'd argue they are the heart of just about any aristocrat's deck, they are not going to be must-run in other black or black X builds that aren't aristocrats or aren't based on sacrificing creatures for a win, so I'm not going to include them on this list. I want more universal picks. Though, yes, a lot of black decks do run these three cards. They're great. But starting at number eight on the must-run list of black staples is a card I played with great glee and affection over 20 years ago. Wild. I have literally been playing with this next card for over 20 years. I'm so old. And when I do eventually fall into the grave, if you'd like to bring me back to fight for you, it's just one in a black to Animate Dead. Animate Dead is one in a black for an enchantment aura, enchant creature card in a graveyard, and holy moly, even fixed this is a wall of text. Look, Animate Dead is you enchant a dead creature in any graveyard, it returns to the battlefield, and as long as that creature uh, has the enchantment on it, you control it, and if the enchantment falls off, it goes back to the graveyard, uh, and it also gets a negative one, negative zero. Okay, it, it is a lot, but it does a lot. In Commander, this is a must run because in Commander, powerful creatures either win games or they end up in graveyards. Well, this is a cheap cost to grab them and try again. Maybe you brought out something yourself and had it removed, or better yet, an opponent launched something scary only to have it taken down. Animate Dead lets you have your pick of the dead. And it's also nice when there's a super powerful utility creature in someone's graveyard for you to rob. Now, a similar choice is Reanimate, and this spell allows you to circumnavigate the whole enchantment clause. Once you reanimate with reanimate, you have that creature until it dies, period. But reanimate also costs you that creature's converted mana cost in life, which while not always prohibitive in commander, can still be too high a price in some situations. Also, speaking of price, reanimate is a $10 card versus the two buck reanimate dead. Though many black decks run both, I'd say your black deck should run at least one. Next up, let's talk about the new Magic the Gathering digital client, or rather, its biggest competitor, 
For everyone knows how expensive Arena can be, and, well, this new competing magical digital client gives you all the same advantages, but with no cash cost. You just pay in life, and what's that? It's not a new digital client, it's a magic card. Phyrexian Arena? Well, it seems I got a bit confused, uh, Arena. Oh, come on, come on, whatever. Phyrexian Arena is an enchantment for one generic mana and double black. At the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card and you lose one life. See, Animate Dead? That's how you write a card. Greatness at any cost is the mantra of black, and that cost is usually life. Going all the way back, back, back to my high school days once again. The card Necropotence defined this this quality, but it has been streamlined here with the perfect amount of power in Phyrexian Arena. Basically, for the rest of the game, or until someone disenchants it, you are now drawing two cards a turn instead of one. You take a whopping one point of damage, sorry, a whopping one loss of life, which is quite a little to pay for quite a lot to gain. Despite the double black in its casting cost, two and even three color decks that are in black should be running a copy of this card, as it is an absolute must-have staple of the color. But black isn't just about reanimating the dead and trading life for power. It's also about killing things. But in Commander, what if we want to kill all the things? What's the must-run black card for that? Well, take a clue from the living nightmare hellscape that most internet discourse has turned into these days and grab a copy of Toxic Deluge. Toxic Deluge is too generic in a black for a sorcery. Has an additional cost to cast this spell? Pay X life. All creatures get negative X, negative X until end of turn. Here we are, paying life again. Toxic Deluge is great because you can customize it to the size and scope of the board. If you've got a couple players with stalled out boards of tons of 2-2 tokens, two life clears them away. A bomb creature that needs to be taken out or the game ends? Pay the price in life and eliminate the threat. One black and two generic means Means this can go in any deck running black, even five color. And Toxic Deluge is just a must have. A close alternative is the infamous Damnation, but Deluge allows for not just customization, but some potent tricks as well. Let's say the board is filled with creatures, but the toughest is only five toughness. And then you happen to cast a good old 6-6. Six, six. Deluge can wipe the board, but leave your creature standing to swing in and do serious damage while everyone else needs to rebuild. It's an absolute powerhouse and staple of a black card, and my pick for number six. All right, we've talked about the must-have commander black card for reanimating the dead, for trading life for power, or, or a card draw, for mass removal of irritants, but what about proper retribution for the removal of our own creatures? Coming in at number five, it's hard for the opponents to stay alive with a Dictate of Erebos. Dictate of Erebos is three generic and double black for an enchantment with flash. That's right, flash in this enchantment, and whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent sacrifices a creature. This is certainly a must run in one of the black aristocrats builds, where you are always looking to sack out your creatures and with dictate on the board, wipe your opponent's boards as hordes of tokens get taken to the Phyrexian altar. But dictate has a lot of other uses and is a must run in just about any black deck. First of all, it serves as an awesome deterrent. You have a 1-1 one -one spirit token, they have big scary creatures, but if they attack you and you chump block, that chump is taking a creature with it from each opponent. This is especially handy when an opponent perhaps only has one big scary creature and we have a dictate in hand. They attack, we flash it in, chump block, and bye-bye threat. Now the runner-up here is the original Grave Pact, which technically is less to cast, but harder for non-mono black decks, as it costs triple black instead of the more manageable double. Many would argue that shifting the triple black pips to only two is worth an extra colorless in the cast, as is the combat trickery of Flash, and I'd be one of them, because Dictate is my pick for number five. Black can't rely on board wipes like Toxic Deluge alone. It needs targeted removal for those precision cuts. Well, number four and number three are our two must-run forms of direct removal. We'll start with 
A Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw is an elemental creature for four generic and a black, and it has fear, meaning this creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures. Now, when Shriek Maw enters the battlefield, destroy target, non-artifact, non-black creature. Five CMC is pretty costly, but you can evoke a Shriek Maw for one and a black, meaning you can cast this spell for that evoke cost, but if you do, it's sacrificed when it enters the battlefield. While the hard cast is costly for this creature, late game it can be done, a 3-2 with fear does often come in handy. But since you can evoke a Shriek Maw for only one and a black, it's essentially a Doom Blade. And if you have that Dictate of Erebos in play, you'll target one creature to be destroyed, sacrifice your own Shriek Maw, trigger the Dictate, and then everyone will have to sacrifice a creature as well. And hey, once Shriek Maw is in the graveyard, reanimate it, target another creature, rinse, repeat, Number three is a lot more straightforward. It's a must-run catch-all, the Hero's Downfall. One in double black, Hero's Downfall is an instant with the simple text that reads, destroy target creature, Planeswalker. This may seem plain, but it is a no restrictions removal that even hits Planeswalkers, hits black and artifact creatures. While the double black is a bit tricky for three color and up decks, I would still run it, as there are too many times where you just need a creature or a Planeswalker to die to removal. Number two is a special one, in that it is two. Uh, no, it's not a tie, it's a combo. This may be my most controversial pick, and I can already hear the disagreement and hopefully debate now, but I feel very strongly that most commander decks really need to have an option for a combo win in there somewhere. And in black, that combo win is the classic and must run Exquisite Blood plus Sanguine Bond. Exquisite Blood reads, whenever an opponent loses life, you gain that much life, and Sanguine Bond reads, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. So this two-card combo can end the game. And I strongly believe that if you were in black, you should be running this. Look, sure, you can do something like play Wound Reflection and Chow How Dun plus Volrath Stronghold and throw in a Temporal Extortion, but look, let's be honest, that's a stretch of a combo. And a lot of black combos are either several pieces that need to be slowly assembled, or they involve artifacts to enough of a degree that cards I'd recommend aren't really in the best in black. But Exquisite Blood plus Sanguine Bond are the quintessential black combo, and what's more, both these cards are excellent in isolation of one another, so unlike a lot of other combos, even if you never get both pieces together, having only one is still great advantage. But what's the number one black must-run staple? It's not too fancy. It's not a game winner by itself. It's a workhorse, far too often forgotten. But if you are in black, be it mono or two or even all five colors, it's hard to justify not running a copy. I may be the prickly professor, but your deck needs a demonic tutor. Demonic Tutor, one generic and a black for sorcery. Search your library for a card, any card. Put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. This is the superlative tutor, the one all others turn to and then water themselves down from. Get the answer you need, the combo piece you want, the creature you desire, the spell you crave for just one and a black. Reveal it to no one and put it in your hand. If you'd like two copies of this card, Diabolic Intent does the exact same thing, but it will also cost you a creature. The closest there is to a superior tutor spell, I suppose, would be Vampiric Tutor, as it only costs one black mana and is an instant speed, but it does cost two life and, instead of placing the needed card in your hand, puts it on top of your deck. Now, if you have ways to draw a card at instant speed as well, Diabolic can help out in times when a sorcery just lacks the speed. But when it comes to the single most run black staple for Commander, the single must-have, the OG Demonic Tutor, is head and shoulders and horns, the card to have. So strike back with these eight cards in black. But now I want to hear from you. What black cards that I did not list do you feel are top must-run staples of the color? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, start listening with a 30-day Audible trial. You get to choose one audiobook, your choice from their vast library, and two Audible originals absolutely free. Free is the right price. Visit audible.com slash Talarian Community or text Talarian Community to 500-500 and not only get all of that absolutely free, but help the channel out as you do. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.